Close, man. Just kidding. It <laughs> is the first Friday, first Friday of Cardinals is it training Friday? camp. It doesn't feel like Friday because we got work tomorrow yeah, well, Coop, and the next day, and after that. And Coop is off today, <laughs> so that's how you know it's Friday. Yep. Uh, pretty interesting day of practice. Oh, very Cam, interesting. First impressions. Uh, first impressions that everybody picked it up today. Uh, much better than yesterday. I thought yesterday was a more slower practice. Guys get used to camp, get used to how Cliff Kingsbury does things. Uh, the tempo necessarily wasn't there. I thought today was a lot more crisp, uh, flying around on both sides of the football. And I'm not just, I'm not saying that, just to say that. I thought the offense was really good at times. I thought the defense was really good at times. So overall, for a second day of practice, I thought there was a lot of good things we saw out there today. Most importantly, it was faster because the one thing that I noticed at the first practice, Cliff Kingsbury kept telling and Kyler Murray to hurry up, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And today we saw, I think, the pace that Kingsbury wanted. Uh, and I, the reason is because they're going to put on the pads tomorrow, so they have to pick it up. Yeah, the uh, we saw we saw a couple sets of 11 on 11 drills. Um, Kyler Murray maybe missed a couple throws in the first segment, a couple long throws, but I think we saw him really pull together in the second segment when he was he was hitting crisp throws. Uh, pretty consistently long and short. Um, Brett Hundley as well made some really good throws today. Yeah, I, I thought both quarterbacks at times looked really good today. Uh, Kyler Murray, he could just do some special things with the football. It's crazy. You, we walk around a little bit and talk to people. The first thing they tell me is how does he, or they ask me, is how does he see over the line? He's so short. Everyone talks about the size of Kyler Murray. And uh, when I was even walking behind the offensive line, he is shorter than the offensive lineman. It's just what it is. Mm -hmm. But somehow, some way, he finds guys, he puts it on a rope, a laser, a dime, whatever you want to call it. He makes some incredible passes. Uh, through one to Larry Fitzgerald over the middle for about a pickup of 30 yards, uh, right in Larry's bread basket. Uh, Larry even had some contact there. You know, he fell to the ground, but got right back up. Great catch by Larry. Christian Kirk down the sidelines too as well. Just put it to work. Kirk could get it or nobody could get it. Same thing with Andy Isabella, who made a phenomenal catch mm -hmm. along the sidelines too as well. Actually, I believe that was Brett Hundley who threw that ball uh, to Andy Isabella. Great catch on his shoulder, diving. So I thought the receivers made much better plays today than they did yeah. yesterday. And uh, I thought the quarterbacks were a lot more crisp. But the one thing with Murray, uh, his favorite target today, unfortunately, was Patrick Peterson. He did yes. throw uh, two picks, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, to Patrick Peterson, and, and P2 even said that in the locker room, jokingly said, hey, he needs to stop throwing at number 21. Um, so it was good to see Pat get his hands on some balls, too, as well. Yeah, uh, that out got, there. That's going to happen. It's that happen. had the fans fired up as well, yeah. the whole defense fired up, obviously, to get some turnovers there. Um, like we kind of talked about earlier, Kyler, when, when he is dropping back and that line is coming around the flanks, you can really see the size differential there. But what he did so well today was throwing on the run. He made some great throws on the run, and he evaded that pressure really, really well today. So that's something uh, kind of keep in mind that he's he's going to be able to evade the pressure probably better than any quarterback. Yeah, I, I think that's the key with this offense. They want him to get kind of the old Tom Brady rule, get rid of the ball in less than three seconds. If it's not there, tuck, run, go, make a play happen. Um, you know, the ooh and an on you hear at practice are when no one is there and Murray starts to boot. You hear the go, ooh, and then ah, as soon as he, you know, makes a move or does something with the middle. So I think that's what he's been instructed to do, and you can just tell from watching, is that when the guy is not there, his reads are not there, man, he's going to tuck it and go, and we're going to see what happens. Mm -hmm. A couple of other things we've noticed, uh, Chandler Jones and Terrell Suggs. Best friends. Conjoined at the hip. Yeah. Uh, just always together, always talking throughout practice. Uh, that was true the last two days, so I thought that was a little bit interesting. Yeah. We're actually going to talk to Terrell Suggs. One, he talked today in the locker room. We're going to mm -hmm. talk to him one-on-one -on -one, uh, tomorrow morning. The, the interview is going to air uh, on our Cardinals locker room training camp special, which uh, is next Thursday after the Hall of Fame game. Uh, we're going to ask him about that. Have to, because everywhere you go, yeah. Terrell Suggs, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones, Terrell Suggs. Everywhere you go. And I don't know if they're doing it on purpose. Maybe it's a mental thing, because they both want to get after the quarterback. Yeah. Uh, but everywhere you go, you see them too as well. Yep. And then lastly, the snack cart, the, the fruit cart that comes out, which I hear is a new thing under Cliff Kingsbury. 
Uh, it's a great idea. The players love it. Yeah. It's about it's halftime through practice. He'll call halftime, and then the players will run over to the fruit cart. You got David Johnson over there both days joking about how he wants donuts. And Swiss rolls. He wants Swiss rolls, and he <laughs> wants little Debbie. Uh, Cakes. So Kyler and Christian Kirk over there enjoying it. So that's that's been uh, kind of a fun part of camp for these guys in the middle. Uh, something that I don't think they're really used to. So yeah, I, I would have loved to have that. Back in the day, a little fruit cart, and all we had was water and ice. Yeah. And sometimes the water was hot. Yep. They got nice fruit to chew on, a little snack, get you refueled, rehydrated. Mm -hmm. uh, just wondering which mom is in charge tomorrow to bring the snacks. You know? Right. Ooh, just, just curious. So they put the pads on tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely be seeing a lot more over the weekend. Uh, Tonight at 6 and 10, you're going to hear from Patrick Peterson too as well. Uh, what he tells me about his uh, role this preseason and what he is going to do to get the next guy ready because remember, he's going to be out the first six weeks of the year. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.